Hi everyone. So it's exciting times because the um, creative industries and other, I mean, and the legal fields are suddenly waking up and having all this very technologically savvy um, web, uh, like webinars and presentations and forums online. And it's working very well. So for example, um, two weeks ago and also this week, there's the online London Book Festival, which is, um, I mean, two weeks ago, it was uh, presentations on, you know, introduction to uh, negotiating rights for authors by publishers and agents, etc. And also a um, uh, another uh, second day session in relation to basically the talent, how to develop your you know, your profile as a writer. And this week, it's actually the, you know, the book fair done online. So you can, if you want, uh, just mingle with the likes of uh, the big book publishers, the Bloomsbury's and Penguin, etc. of this world on this platform. Um, another example of a creative and industries uh, endeavor online is the Masterpiece Art Fair. So uh, it's usually held in Chelsea um at uh, around this time of the year and um like sorry in person obviously but this year they decided to do it online so it's just started today um so i haven't had a chance to look at it yet but the masterpiece uh art fair is going live and on the legal side there's a lot of arbitration and alternative dispute resolution so mediation arbitration etc um events happening so um Yesterday, today and tomorrow, there's the ICC um, uh, yearly conference on ADR and arbitration. It's really good. The platform is amazing and I'm learning a lot. So I just uh, finished doing like attending, sorry, a um, session on how to use and draft and uh, uh, witness statements. If you are either uh, uh, an arbitrator, an ICC arbitrator or a counsel for parties during an, an ICC arbitration. So it's really fascinating. I'm learning a lot. And um, uh, yeah, and um, the jams as well, which is a very important um, uh, arbitration and mediation organization for the creative industries. They are very, very strong, in particular with the film and um, and uh, TV sector uh, in Los Angeles and, and you know New York, but also in London, jams. And um, they're also doing, um, uh, they've been doing that yesterday, um, the day before, and also today, they're doing free sessions on jams arbitration and mediation. And, uh, you know, so you get to uh, also, also online, obviously, this is in partnership with Mondak. And, um, and yeah, it's fascinating because I wanted to join as a neutral uh, jams. I'm already a neutral, uh, like an, a potential arbitrator or mediator from a lot of organizations, in particular, the international um uh, uh, film and uh, Television Alliance, IFTA, based in Los Angeles. I'm actually in the middle of an arbitration for them as an arbitrator. Um, I'm also a neutral on a lot of uh, other places like the London Court of International Arbitration, based in London, obviously. Uh, the um, CAFA, which is the uh, Court of uh, Arbitration for Art, which is based in the Netherlands. I'm also an arbitrator for that because uh, we are also a not law firm at Crefovi. And um, so, yeah, so I'm a neutral uh, on uh, many panels, many organizations which are very, you know, tip top for uh, alternative dispute resolution for the creative industries. And it's really good to see that these uh, guys from the legal side, they're really using leveraging te technology, um, you know, the best they can to provide some excellent content to do the annual conferences. And you know what? It's so much better. You don't have to travel. Um, for example, the session finished at 10 p.m. today. It was between 9 a. Sorry, 10, 10 a.m. today. It was between 9 and, and 10. And it resumes at 12 p.m. Uh, this afternoon. That's fantastic. So then in the meantime, I can be at my desk and work on other matters and then resume work, you know, attending the uh, ICC um, International Conference at 12 p.m. So it's so cool, you know, it's like stress free. Everybody in the world can participate. I mean, what's not to like? Honestly, what's not to like? I much prefer that than having to, you know, travel to Switzerland or whatever, 
you know, it's going to cost you two or three grand. I mean, hello, this is like, I'm glad that the uh, Aquarius area is starting, you know, with getting all this technology. Everybody can can be, you know, everybody can be in, it, in the game. I think this is fantastic. Then it's down to you to do the work, you know, do the work, do the preparation. But we, there's so much more access um, to all this um, technological tools. You just need to have a MacBook Pro and uh, an internet connection, and there you go. And that's fantastic because, hey, we need to have more people playing the game, right? Yeah, so let's get started. Um, so just some update though on relation to the creative industries at the moment. I'm not going to, you know, um, play games here the creative industries are not doing well at the moment. I mean, I'm talking more about the French and uh, uh, UK market, obviously, which are uh, which are our two uh, uh, main markets, uh, since we are qualified to practice law under English law and under French law. And it's just like nothing is happening at the moment. It really is. I've, I've, I've you know, we founded Crefervy back in 2012. I've never seen it since 2012 when we started. We were just like, you know, uh, although I, I was already a, a 12 years uh, qualified lawyer, uh, but my training was more in in banking and finance. So it took, you know, a little bit of time for uh, for me to build the clientele and the client list. But since 2012 and beginning of 2013, I've never seen this. 2020 for us was a very good year. We had lots of matters, you know, I barely felt the crisis. We barely felt the crisis at, at Crefo because we were a, a, um, a virtual law firm anyway. Everybody was working from home, you know, and we are a, a, a paper, paper free, uh, a paperless uh, law firm. So everything was like ready for the technology uh, implementation. And also, so we hit the ground running in 2020 when the pa pandemic hit. But this year, uh, there is definitely a change, a very, like a, a, a dramatic downward shift in the demand for legal services in the creative sector. I mean, I think the creative industries have really felt this uh, pandemic, uh, the, ec the economic crisis caused by this pandemic very, very strongly. So what we are doing at Crefo is that we are focusing on the creative industries which are doing well. So for example, in a week and a half, I'm off to the Cannes Film Festival, yeah, which I had not been attending last year, obviously, because it didn't happen. But this, this year it's actually happening um, either as a virtual uh, process or an in, in, in on-site process. So I've attended that. It's quite expensive. The ticket is definitely worth it. This is the biggest film market in the world and I'm ready to meet the likes of, uh, I mean, our clients and prospects at Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, um, you know, uh, the French um, broadcasters as well, the, uh, you know, and uh, and uh, film production companies, the likes of Gaumont, etc. Uh, and so, yeah, so I'm going there in a week and a half to catch up with our clients in the film and TV industry. So that's quite exciting. So, um, yeah, that was our update from us to you. And bye for now.